Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to find out who gets to hunt mule deer with us this October with our good friends at RK Hunting Company. And without further ado, let's find out who gets to hunt with us this fall. Look at this guy. What's up, guys? Yeah, we just wanted to plug you in, Kayla. We heard you're trying to start a fishing channel, so we were wondering if like, we could collaborate on some stuff moving forward this summer, like maybe a fishing trip or something. Um, yeah, I'm big time fisherman. Love fishing. Sweet. <laughs> Caleb, I, I love fishing. I love gear fishing, but you want to know what's way cooler than uh, fishing? What's that? Chasing giant mule deer with the hush crew. Hey, you better not be messing with me right now. <laughs> Caleb, dude, you are the grand prize winner of no the ultimate mule deer hunt that we just did with our great friends at R&K Hunting Company. This whole entire crew, everybody on this call is going to be glassing their face off trying to find you a mule deer buck of your lifetime. No and way. dude, your name was the one that was pulled out of <laughs> all the folks that entered to be the one lucky winner. This is amazing. Thank you guys so much. I'm so pumped. Get, get, get you guys better and to, you know, spend time. Yeah. Muley, yeah. so... Opening day, dude? Opening day. Only so many of them. I'm excited because I have not had a chance to glass or hunt mule deer in a long time. Are they still going? Just doing some dude stuff. Just wrestling. Um, we've got the other guys on this other side of the big canyon. And they just got a hold of us and said they found a shooter buck. So, and hope he comes right to us. So, let's do it. Guys, welcome. We just arrived at the RK Ranch. If you remember, we gave a mule deer hunt away with our good buddies at RK. And Caleb right here is, was the winner. He bought some merch, got his name in the hat, and he won. We always say this you can't win if your name's not in the hat. So you have to get your name and just put it in there, you know? Even if it's only in there one time. Anyway, Caleb's down here. He got all his gear. He got his Weatherby. He's got his first light camo. We, we decked him out and everything, and so we're just gonna uh, verify the rifle. We did take Caleb two weeks ago to Thompson's Long Range. If you've never heard of them, go look them up. They are amazing at getting guys to shoot, getting guys capable of shooting a thousand yards. We're not gonna be doing that, but it's cool to see that what your rifle will do. Anyway, so we got him set up at Thompson's Long Range. Uh, the hunt starts tomorrow, so we're just gonna get him zeroed in or just make sure he feels comfortable um, shooting the rifle, and then tomorrow morning is go time. We got two of the best guys in the state of Utah, Mr. Matley. Mr. Jedley, brother team. Uh, so Matt used to work for r &K. That's where we found him. And now his little brother works at r &K as a as a full-time guy. So should be, uh, I asked Caleb, I go, what are you looking for like, in, in the deer? And he goes, I'm looking for a good time. I'm like, you found it. We're gonna have a real good time. guys welcome to a new video this one's extra exciting this is the culmination of our previous hunt giveaway with our friends at RK hunting company and we had 
a lucky winner selected. If you guys have followed along for a long time, we've given away an elk hunt like we did last year. We've given away my truck and a jumping jack trailer, given away a Can-Am side-by-side. And this past year, we gave away the ultimate mule deer hunt. Caleb was our grand prize winner. He just so happens to reside in Utah. He's got his dad here with him, Clint. He won a whole host of prizes from the folks at Weatherby and First Light and Vortex and Yeti and the list goes on and on. But it's October 8th. We are at R&K. Maddie Ice, you also probably know, who's worked for us now for some time, used to guide here. We're going to be hanging out with his brother Jed and uh, collectively as a group, we got the whole team here. We're going to go try to find Caleb a buck that he's really excited about. Couldn't be more thrilled. And like we always say, guys, you just got to get your name in the hat because anybody can win a hunt like this. Thoughts? I'm excited. I think we got a fun camp, good group of guys. I'm excited to get after it, see some deer, make some memories, and get excited about some. So looking forward to it. I'm glad to have my dad here with me. And can't wait to see what happens in the next couple days. There's only one thing uh, powdered donuts might indicate, which is uh, it's opening day, guys. We uh, were super excited to get Caleb and his dad out and uh, start glassing up some deer. So I don't really know what to expect. Matt and Jed are the only ones that have hunted here. So they are gonna kind of dictate the tone of what we do, what our strategy is, where we go. Here we go, opening morning. Dude, you're looking dangerous. Hope so, how all my you, new gear on. How do you feel? Excited. excited. Opening day, dude? Opening day, only so many of them. So. Are, you, are you gonna kill a deer today or are you gonna like play it out and... We're gonna see what's out there. Let's see what's out there. I'm not gonna say yes or no yet, but I'm excited. Dude, I like the gear, man. It's looking so fresh. Yeah, I probably should have broke it in first, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna break it in today. Yeah, so basically the A-team right here is uh, all packed up and loaded to go kill a giant deer. So, full moon's just coming up and uh, a little chilly this morning. <laughs> Give me some knocks, Caleb. past the the rush of first light and on our what's our opening day so we've been just spending some time glassing down into these oak brush draws there's a lot of sagebrush oak brush and uh it's a pretty time of the year like i said earlier we've spotted i think four bucks from the distance but nothing worth going after and uh i think we're just going to kind of hit this for maybe 10 or 15 more minutes and then move on we've got a pretty good chunk of ground that we can't see on the back side of this knob that we're itching to go take a look at so it seems like most of the deer already on the shady sides of the canyon kind of on what would be the um, west facing ridges so it's just a matter of time before we pick a big buck out hey <laughs> there are a couple bucks kicking up oh <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's freaking jiu-jitsu with me. <laughs> What's going on over there? Are they still going? Just doing some dude stuff. Just wrestling. Jed's hair's out. Jed let his hair down. <laughs> we call that one the honeymooner. <laughs> Dad. Just go tack one, dude. Oh, dude. He's going to sit there walking. Breaks my knee. <laughs> We got bugs. Everybody got excited. I saw Jed run. So I started running. I still haven't seen him yet. Yeah, 
disappeared on us. So we're just trying to take inventory that's out here. It's we've got a couple things going on, going against us, but it's the same as any hunt. You know, we got almost a full moon. It's been really warm, so. We just have to stay up till the last light and be out the first light. Try to hopefully lay eyes on a big one and make a plan for it. But I've been seeing quite a few deer, a lot of smaller bucks. We're just trying to find one that gets Caleb excited. He wants to go kill, but it's been a fun first day, that's for sure. Guys, we just got back from day one. Uh, it was a little rough. I mean, it's a little slow, but it is what it is. I don't care where you're at. Public land, on a ranch, like hunting is hunting. You still gotta go find the animals and you gotta go kill the animals. So uh, I have high hopes we're gonna kill, find a big buck in the morning for Caleb and uh, he'll put the stock on him, but who cares about hunting right now? You guys have ever met Mr. This is Bean. This is Matt and Jed's dad. Bean is kind enough to cook all this food for us tonight. He's got ribs, he's got uh, pulled pork, chicken, baked potatoes. It looks delicious, we're diving. So Bean is a master cook. I told Matt a few weeks ago we should just hire Bean to uh, come be our cook on all of our hunts. I'm gonna present him with a contract tonight so he'll sign it. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Bean. Well, hello guys. Uh, like Casey was saying, we've got ribs. We've got six slabs of baby backs here. And uh, over here, we got barbecue chicken. We've got pulled pork, baked potatoes, gratin potatoes, corn on the cob, and coleslaw. So I don't think they're gonna go hungry. So they've had a hard day and now they need to uh, fill their bellies. Yeah. I'll tell you what, <laughs> this, is, this is a feast. It's gonna keep me full till the end of the week. Look at that. <laughs> more stations. <laughs> not done with the Two more yet. stations. Guys, this is, I'm not kidding when I told you I will hire being the beer full time cook. This, I mean, me and Corey do a pretty good job making Corey does a phenomenal job. I do an okay job of making like pre main meals. When do we get uh I feel like I'm just in Texas at like a smokehouse. Thanksgiving I just, dinner. I kept, dude. I kept like there's just new things. <laughs> Am I done? We're eating tonight. No, I'll be doing I've that. only hit the rib station. I got like ten more stations to go. The ribs. Phenomenal beans. All the drinks. Guys, good morning, good afternoon. How are we? It's day number two down here on the R and K ranch. And uh, we got our hunt winner Caleb with us still. He hasn't left, that's a good thing. <laughs> we are gonna have a little different program today. We're gonna go glass a lot more country. Um, it's kind of interesting how they run this thing because you know there are hundreds of thousands of acres down here on this portion of the ranch, but there's like nine guys out hunting. So, you know, the head dude out down here, his name's Cheeto, and he has to like send people to certain places so not everyone's overlapping, obviously. That's not what you want. He gave us this other place today to go check out, which is, I like the idea because we're gonna be able to glass lots of country and it's big country. So who knows what we'll find, but hopefully we find that just stomper of a, uh, you know, timber warrior that we like to call him. And Caleb just gets super excited and we go kill him. Anyway, I'm loading up some snacks and Yeti, some drinks. I might be an all day event, maybe. I don't know. Not really sure. But I'll be ready if it is. Hi. It's morning of day two. We are at spot number two for the morning. Looking over a lot of deer. Just nothing mature enough to shoot. It's been fun though. It's following my breath. It's been fun and it's been real. It just hasn't been real fun, huh? That's right. Suit yourself. Dude. Suit yourself, dude. What's up? It is evening, day two. Uh, come to a new area. This area, from what I've been explained, so you got some agriculture fields way down on the bottom. Then we're way up this canyon in this big sagebrush, aspen type draw. It's kind of a big bowl. Supposedly these deer will funnel down to go to the fields tonight, but right below us. So we're gonna just hike over this hill, drop down about a quarter of the way set up and uh, hopefully find a big buck for Caleb Knight. The other four guys, Logie, Jed, Eric, and Brian are going around the other side to kind of glass back in below us. So we're in, we're, we have all the angles covered. Just, we gotta find a deer before we can shoot a, shoot a deer. So we're gonna go find a deer first. Yep, that's yeah, it. That's my buck. That's the buck I see. Is this in the sage? He's far. 
Yeah, for sure, for sure right? Let me calm down. Instantly, I was like, shoot her butt. He's, he's literally like... He's in the wide open, about to walk into Aspen's. We just got out of here at 9-2. Um, we've got the other guys on this other side of the big canyon, and they just got a hold of us and said they found a shooter buck, so we're out of sight of it right now. It should feed down to where we want to be, so we're going to move down this hill a little bit and get set up and, and hope he comes right to us. So, let's do it. Okay, guys. This is the spot I've hunted very, very many times. And uh, these deer like to funnel right here at this bottleneck. So we're set up 300 yards from the bottleneck. Got him on the death grip. Getting comfortable and hopefully this buck that Eric and Jed, Brian and Logan found is gonna feed down right, right to us. So fingers crossed. We got about an hour and a half of daylight, so I hope something something happens. That's exciting. Let's see what happens the next couple hour and a half. A lot of things could go right, so let's make something happen. We always say we gotta find the animals before we can shoot the animals. We haven't found an animal or a buck and it's got Caleb excited. And Caleb actually hasn't seen this buck yet. Eric and Jed just said it's a shooter, so hopefully he comes out like he, like Matt said, he's hunted this a lot. Hopefully he does what the, the deer have typically done in the past. We get a good look at him and Caleb gets excited about him and then calms himself and shoots him. Okay, we're gonna do that. It's, all, it's like a six step program. Well, we always say that every hunt's like this, you know, six step program or whatever it is. Learn the country, find the animals, find the one you want to kill, make a stalk, make a good shot, pack out the animal. What step are we on right now? <laughs> two? Two, stuck on two. <laughs> According to the other group, Brian, Eric, Logie, and Jed, they found a shooter. So we got in a position where we thought he was gonna come down and we had some bucks come by us. We had one that was a four point, but I don't know, he just didn't look that big. Do you think he was a shooter? No, I don't think so either. <clears throat> so we don't know because we didn't have service down there, so we don't know if that's the one they thought was a shooter or what, but he came by at probably five, 600 yards, which we want to get in closer than that, but uh, we'll have to get back to camp and figure out exactly what went on, but saw a lot of deer, saw a lot yeah. of bucks, so it was fun, but we just got to get over step two. <laughs> then the hunt really begins. Yeah, I think we've been seeing more deer each time we went out too, so that's a positive bit. I concur. More deer, more bucks yeah. every time. Just looking for the right caliber. There we go. Uh, tonight's tri-tip night in the lodge, so we're headed back now. <laughs> okay guys, we are just getting here to the South Fork Lodge here at RK, and we're about to go eat some of Don's famous tri-tip and uh, Caleb's first glimpse at the lodge. Caleb, thoughts? This was number three Shiris Moose. This is something special, man. Uh, yeah. like, Are you serious? Yeah. I got a buddy that's got this is unreal. Lion right above the door. The quality of animals are pulling off this thing. All right, now we're gonna go get some food. So this is the spread. Every meal, Don's always saucing up some deliciousness. So tonight it looks like, what's that, Don? Shrimp? Shrimp and tri-tip. Shrimp and tri-tip, a little surf and turf. So you got your salad. Buffet style, you just dig in. Look at that spread. That's like two of my favorite things, tri-tip and shrimp. In <laughs> game one. on? In one, yeah, game on. Veggies, potatoes, salad and a roll. Unreal. 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 Dude, Tell me what we're working with here, Clint. We're waiting for the sunset so we can come back and stab this wonderful meal. Okay, I Look. know we've been cooking well, but here at Dude. Orange K, what is, what is their food like? Dude, ours? this is like another level. <laughs> just take a look. Look at that. We got shrimp tempura, fresh salad, 
tri-tip, some amazing potatoes, and like a vegetable medley. Oh my goodness. It's pretty awesome. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Looks good. six of them. Uh, oh, this top one. This top one. This is the buck. This is the buck we want. I think the top one's a shooter. Let me see. We just found what we've been looking for. We, uh, Jet's been down here scout or guiding all fall and he saw it. Really nice buck with some cheaters. So, we finally laid eyes on him. It's mostly just 600 yards below us, so this guy's ready. As soon as we, we saw him, he was like, ready, it's game mode. Oh, already got him on the sides, I'm ready. Yeah, stoked. We should sneak down here and lay eyes on him, try to get as close as we can. I think we're gonna kill him. We're on step three now. We're making progress. We're gonna pass on step two. All right, guys, we, uh, Got to this glassing point. We've been here before, and finally located the uh, target buck we've been after. Tall four point with some cheaters, and he's running with like five or six other bucks. But uh, they're really wanting to work up hard and away from us, and that's gonna put our guys right on top of them. So I hope they could see him before they bust because they're starting to um, walk out of our view. We're not gonna be able to see him anymore. So. We got a good play on them, guys. This is finally, finally gonna happen. Just took took us a few days to find that next size, that mature, good age class buck. So we're on them. I'm pumped, man. Heck yeah. Oh man, that was sweet. We've been just seeing like that year younger, two years younger size of bucks. And finally, Eric saw this buck, and we all looked, and it was like no brainer. You get in this lull of seeing like lots of deer, but maybe not that class of deer. And then when you do lay eyes, it's like that's what they look like. So, hope you guys enjoyed that footage, and hopefully, we can get this done. We might have to cut them off. Guys, we are on to step three. We found a shooter buck. Eric made a great spot this morning. This is the buck Jed brought us in here to shoot the first morning. We just never found him. So, found him, we got close, but man, he was just right on the edge of the trees when we finally laid eyes on him, probably like 200. Anyway, he just kind of bumped into this canyon. And so, what we have going for us is we have 18 eyeballs 
all with vortex optics, we're gonna go around where we can look into the canyon where we, he went and try to find him in his bed and then make another game plan to go kill him. But it feels good to have a target buck. We know where he's at, now we just gotta hunt him. So, wish us luck, but also come along with us, guys. You guys can be number 19 and 20 eyeballs. Let's go. That was solid. He just did a good look. He's out. Down. He's not moving. Stay right on him. Stay on him. Stay on him. Dead. Dead. Him. <laughs> <Stroke> <laughs> him. Smoke show. Hold on. Stay on him. Stay, Stay on, on him. him. I'm on him. He's dude, done, dude. Wild. He's done. <laughs>
guys, buck down, man, one shot. That deer could barely make it out of his bed, so nice shot, Caleb. Got the guys up here. Woo! Caleb, heck of a job, dude. Way to stay patient. It took us a little longer than we thought, but it was a perfect amount of time. It took us three days. Got to see over a bunch of country. Got to look at a bunch of bucks, find the one that we were after. Didn't get him killed this morning, but we were patient, came back, found him, and made a heck of a stock and a heck of a shot, dude. Just how we like him to go down. Caleb Fenton. Woo! So good. Hell yeah, dude, that was awesome. Yeah, hug, buddy. Appreciate it, guys. So glad I was there for that, <laughs> man. Fun. We sat and waited on that buck for how long? Hour and a half. We could see enough of his lungs, and Caleb was super steady enough that it just squoze one off and freaking hammered him. Good job, buddy. Good. That was That's freaking fun. awesome, man. That's what it's about right there. He's a sweet buck, too. Dude, good job, guys. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You. Heck of a job, buddy. Way to stay patient, man. Nice Made shot, a heck brother. of a shot. Dude, Congrats. Good job, man. <laughs> we went nice on. shoot, we too. Went on. Oh, yeah. yeah, dude. Was awesome. You yeah, didn't buddy, perform dude. flawlessly under pressure. That was sick, Congrats, man. Bud. Right Good work, Congrats. Caleb. Bro. <sighs> Caleb. Uh, that's a stud, that's a buddy. Sweet butt, dude. Good work. That's fun. <sighs> <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, big old white face, dude. Big old, big old Right in front of the We got him. We made a stock about 500 yards away, 480, when these guys found him and we came over and met with them and me, Logan, and Matty Ice, trying to see how close we could get. Army crawled about 200 yards and threw all kinds of crap and Ended up popping up about 280 yards, 285 yards away from him and sat and watched him for an hour, hour and a half probably and finally decided that we were gonna make a shot. We had a shot at embedded, but there's a piece of sagebrush that's kind of in the way. But we felt comfortable with the shot that we that we ended up taking and it and it did its job. So this is fun. This is what it's all about. Excellent. Excited to see it all pay off. Good job, Caleb. Yeah, I think these guys enough. Tell, say what I told you to say. Hey, shop get hushing. Woohoo! <laughs> job, boys. Guys, we, uh, we're finishing up an amazing hunt. It, it was the official ultimate mule deer hunt giveaway with our friends at R&K Hunting Company. We cannot thank those guys enough for the hospitality, the opportunity to come out here and give away a really cool mule deer hunt. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far, but today was a great day. Caleb, sealed the deal on an awesome buck. Yeah, it was fun. I think looking back, <clears throat> it goes too quick. We were talking about how it goes too quick after you you tag out. And we had a lot of fun. We saw a lot of deer. We got to cover a lot of country. Got to hang out, spend some time together, have some really good laughs. And that in itself is, you know, a win in a hunt. But we got to tag out tonight on a on a super mature and nice buck and that's just the icing on the cake. So it's been a heck of a week. Can't thank these guys enough. And it's gonna be something I look back on the rest of my life for sure. Super grateful. So it was a win. A win for Hush. Yeah, it's pretty cool from getting a phone call from all of us to uh, let him know that he was a lucky grand prize winner of our, our mule deer hunt giveaway to uh, sharing camp together, sharing the mountain together. Brought his dad, Clint. They've been great company. And we're just very fortunate that we're in a position to do stuff like this. And thanks again to R&K Hunting Company for hosting us. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed it you know your time on the mountain out here as we did so just want to thank you guys for watching as usual subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh who knows we're going to be doing some big giveaways um again some of the stuff you've maybe seen around camp might be up for up for grabs coming soon so stay tuned again thank you for all your love and support on the channel can't do this stuff without you guys so on to the next one